Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your end of October love tarot reading. Scorpio, we're looking at whatever love energies need to come out regarding your situation, um, love situation or connection, whatever's going on for you. So let's see what we have here for you, Scorpio. So we do have the Whispers of Love Oracle here. So I'm going to get you some opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Scorpio. I hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. All right, Scorpio, so let's see what we have for you for the end of October. Love Tarot reading, and remember, we're just going to take it as it comes, see what you need to know regarding your love life or situation. All right, let's see. Back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. Three, which is about growth and expansion. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. And we have 34 7. Seven's divinely guided spiritual energy can be a little challenging. Love is all around you, there is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. And we have 16, which is 7. Another seven. Spiritual connection, 27, nine, which could be full circle completion to a new beginning. This relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, so it looks like you have a connection here. Um, this could be someone you've been in separation with. It could be a past life connection. But this could be somebody that you... I feel like had a relationship with like maybe long ago from your past. Um, this You could be around this person again. I'm feeling like you could be like around this person again, whether it's like so social circles, uh, family, or something where, you know, maybe you hadn't seen them in a long time, but now you're around them a lot due to either like friends or family or whatever. Uh, maybe they moved back to the area. And it's like, you know, I think there's still something here. Uh, that connection seemed like it was always there. And, you know, you may be receiving something here. So it could be about reconnecting to like a past love or a lost love or something like that for some of you. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So we have the eight coins tattoo tarot here. So do your reading with this deck. And I'm going to close it out with some uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms oracles and see what else you need to know. All right, Scorpio, end of October. Love tarot reading. Let's see what you need to know. All right. Let's see what we need to know. For Scorpio, please, what do we need to know? For Scorpio, please, let's see. For October, end of October. Ace of Wands. Well, there's exciting new beginning here. Six of uh, Four of Wands reversed. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles reversed. The Nine of Cups reversed. The Knight of Swords. Well, that's just funny. All right, let me see. And the Knight of Wands. You have a lot of fast moving energy here. Um. There's exciting new opportunity for a one's reverse. Now, this could be someone you've never been committed to, but we have two of the fastest knights here. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. That Knight of Pentacles reverse turns to the Knight of Swords. Fast, fastest Knight, which is over here. That's the slowest Knight, and reverse becomes the fastest Knight, for me anyway, which is the Knight of Swords, which is clarifying right there. So I definitely feel like there's an exciting new opportunity here. I don't think this is anyone you've ever been committed to. Something's taking off very, very quickly. I don't even think you were, you know, Nine of Cups reverse, not even really thinking about, like, the connection, past connection of this person or whatever, or even if you're around them recently, like, oh my God, was always my wish dream come true to reconnect to this person and have this relationship. So it may just happen unexpectedly where... All of a sudden, one day you're like, oh my God, you know, I kind of feel that now where I didn't before. So it's kind of like almost like a wake up call here. So now we have Taurus, uh, Aquarius, and Sag. All right, tell me more about this for, I mean, 
you could have two i mean you could have like three people because we have three different energies but i don't think it's that i think it's you know what we just what i just talked about anyway oh my god the sun and three pentacles yeah this could be you know the enlightenment which i just felt growth and expansion things growing over time all right tell me more about this for scorpio and maybe maybe it was just a friend or somebody from your past but somehow you've always been connected even though it was spiritually energetically and i feel like it's coming back around again but this time it's going to be about love or a deeper love or falling in love again i mean however it resonates for you all right so what else does scorpio need to know regarding this what else do we need to Eight of Cups. Could have been distance. I felt that at play here. Seven of Cups. Page of Swords. Four of Cups. Page of uh, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ace of Cups reversed. Yeah, I don't think you've ever had like any kind of romantic relationship with this person, but there was always like a confusing energy around this person. Like sometimes you're you feel the hints of romance. I'm, I'm talking like in the past. You felt the hits, hints of romance sometimes. And maybe things felt differently. Then you're like, oh no. And then it, it's very weird energy. It's, but it was always something that was confusing to you. Um, something that you always thought about with the Four of Cups. But there was nothing ever really that happened with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups reversed. Definitely could be someone that's at a distance right now. Um as well with the eight of cups or had been at a distance see we have the eight to the seven which is like going back so that's why and we have that getting back you know back to what you love and something coming around again i feel because it's like going back that makes sense so we got aquarius showing up here interesting all right let's see scorpio what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this for Scorpio? What else do we need to know about this for Scorpio? Ten of Wands. Four of Swords reversed. Hmm. Five of Wands reversed. The Queen of Cups reversed. Interesting. The Hierophant reversed. The chariot. See, something's moving forward here. Somebody could be returning. We have overwhelmed, oppressed energy here, but also conflict over. So somebody could have been through, you know, been through a very conflicting time in their life. You know, maybe you went on with your life, even if it was just a friendship or something that you did date before or was in a brief relationship before. You know, there's been time and space here. People, you know, gone through life, got divorced, perhaps, been through challenges, been overwhelmed. Um, but I feel like the rest recovery period is over. And we do have something uh, moving forward here. With the, and like I said, I don't think there's anyone like you ever had a love relationship with. But it was something that we felt a little bit from time to time, a little bit of interest, but nothing ever really took off or happened. This is just a very confusing, odd reading, but um, we have Taurus and Cancer showing up. Again, could be coming from a distance, success, victory, balance, positive movement forward. Let's clarify, like, what's coming in with the chariot for you, Cancer, with this energy. What is coming in with the chariot, with this energy for Cancer? What do we need to know? Let's see. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands. Hermit reversed. Queen of Swords reversed. This could be someone you have not talked to in a very long time. Yeah, Three of Cups. I'm getting like all the dating and love cards in reverse, which you've never had a relationship with this person for some. The thought was always there. Let's see. King of Pentacles. Stable, grounded energy here. 
We've got two cards of Virgo in Libra. Something could be happening during Libra season, which there's not much time left for Libra. Something's coming in here, which Seven of Pentacles, like the wait is over or um, stagnation is over. I feel like this is something you, this relationship, friendship, connection, whether you dated them briefly or was a brief relationship, I don't know. There was something you always struggled with with this connection and thought about. Um, and now it's like you're not going to have to struggle anymore because someone's coming forward, the Hermit in Reverse, to probably come forward that, you know, we never talked about our friendship, our connection, our brief relationship, whatever, whatever the heck this is. It's like we never really talked about it. You know, let's, let's talk about it. It's going to put your struggling to ease about what does this connection mean? What did it mean in my life? What, what is it? What, what, what's going on? <laughs> Very confusing here. It could have been someone you were friends with, but had a little bit of a fling with, but then you went back to friends with. Then maybe time went on and you went on with your lives. Somehow they're coming back around into your life. And now it's a time of having a deeper understanding of what this connection is and what it meant and what it means now. Hmm, interesting. All right. Probably have not talked to them in a very long time. We do have the Queen of Swords reversed. But let's see. Um, Scorpio. Scorpio. What else do we need to know about this for Scorpio? Actually, we're going to do one more line with clarifiers. See what else we need to know. But if it's resonating so far or you are enjoying this, please do like, comment. All the good things be greatly appreciated. So what do we need to know? Like, So what's going to happen with this? The sun. Oh, there's the pure enlightenment, understanding, growth, expansion, healing, love, abundance, joy. That's good. Okay, I like that. Devil reversed. Six of one, success, victory. Ten of cups. Oh my gosh. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, this is someone you've been disconnected to. There's a big change could be happening right now. So even if you dated them briefly, maybe someone had a lot of fear and they ran. I get kind of get that too. Um, there was a connection, I feel, of some sort that was very confusing. It was brief. Somehow it's coming back around. There's going to be a deeper understanding. I feel like enlightenment and communication. You definitely, I feel like I've been disconnected to this person for quite a while. We do have temperance reversed. But then the big change is coming here with the tower. Could be right now, unexpected. And getting over all the misunderstandings and all this weird energy around this connection with the devil reversed, which is good and very healing. Okay, very healing for the two of you. So we do have here Leo, Capricorn, Sag, Aries. All right, let's see what else we need to know. It's something about this coming full circle to have a better understanding of what this relationship, connection, whatever this was, what it is, what was it back then, what is it now, what does it mean that we're back in each other's life at this time moving forward. All right, so let's see. Nine of Pentacles, so very single energy here, independent. There's a union, so... This could turn into a serious romantic relationship, Page of Wands. Kind of exciting communication here. King and the Queen of Pentacles. So this now coming back around, it, it, you know, you probably both grew, matured, been through life. Coming back around to discuss what happened in the past. Page of Pentacles. This how to become serious here. Star, maybe some of you secretly wished and hoped for this. I didn't feel like that at the beginning when this comes back around, but now we talk, we get to know, we understand, we've been through life, we've matured, we've grown past it, reconnecting, we're, we're like rebuilding, getting to know each other, like even if it starts as a friendship, then you start to have the feelings again, feelings grow, and now it could be after all that, now I wish and hope to be with this person, it looks like it's going to happen. I definitely feel like there was a lot of <sighs> misunderstanding, kind of abandonment a little bit in the past. 
but I mean now you could be heading down the road with ten of pentacles wow okay let's see what else yeah time of growth and expansion I felt that now there's a new path opening up here six of swords so I don't see anyone going anywhere hangman hey, reverse you know it's action time action time yeah so there was a separation here death but now the queen of wands is like newfound attraction fire passion and now like i said the star there's two stars in this deck now you know you weren't kind of wishing for this came back around it wasn't like oh my god this person's back i hope and wish but then over time as it redevelops rose understands all of it now the wish is to be with this person and we do have the growth and expansion right here wow okay <laughs> okay scorpio let's see let's see all right let's get some um wisdom wisdom of the hidden realm and see what else you need to know and also um down below is my website and lots in the description box so you can check that out if you like to for everything else you need to know about me the channel everything all right for Scorpio, what do we have? Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. What do we need to know? The Resting Tree. Patience and Stillness, 22, which is two partnerships, uni unities, choices, decisions. So there's been a resting period in this connection. The Ringmaster of Scrutiny. Discernment, Clear, and Vision, Details, 9. Almost completion, full circle. Yeah, there had to be a lot, a lot. There's probably been a lot of thinking back with scrutiny um being discerning but now there's going to be details and clarity coming with this definitely is what i see here what else oh my god the sacred union partnership romance 27 nine two nines here sisters of the seasons Cycles of growth, natural law, divine order, 17.8. Travel, action, communication, putting in the work. So it looks like here that, you know, many, many seasons, probably years have passed. And the growth that I talked about, but it's natural law, divine order, that uh, you're meant to come back into each other's lives. Wow. Wow. Okay, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Um, again, everything you do need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I do hope to see you next time.